April was a particularly fortunate month for SpaceX. The Falcon Heavy rocket successfully landed its maiden commercial mission, lofting the massive Arabsat 6A communication satellite and three first stage boosters, one of which on a ship at sea. Today, we are talking about the SpaceX DART mission, particularly the first planetary defense system. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we encourage you to subscribe to never miss out on an update from the space industry. Now, speaking of the planetary defense system, what should we do if we discover a potentially hazardous asteroid on its way to Earth? There are a variety of deflection strategies available, ranging from the severe, a nuclear bomb, to the benign, a heavy spacecraft using gravity to nudge the asteroid off course. The first step to stopping a killer asteroid is discovering it. NASA's Planetary Chief of Defense, Lindley Johnson, said in a statement on the agency's official website, There are hundreds of millions of asteroids in the universe, and we want to identify which ones we should keep a closer eye on and track over time. NASA has identified 2,078 potentially deadly asteroids thus far. The killer asteroid will be joined by a 500-foot-wide moon in orbit around it. Given Didymos's and the Moon's massive size, ground-based telescopes will soon be able to identify the asteroid. They'll also be able to quantify the impacts and effects by detecting changes in its orbit around the larger asteroid over time. The kinetic impactor technique falls somewhere in the middle. The idea is simple. Slam one or more spacecraft into an asteroid at great speed, changing its orbit and removing Earth from its crosshairs. Because minor nudges can add up to larger changes over time, this strategy works best when employed in preparation. NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, DART, is the first space mission to put this and other asteroid deflection strategies to the test. DART is scheduled to launch between November 2021 and February 2022, with an arrival date of September 2022 to the near-Earth asteroid Didymos. The spacecraft will not slow down, colliding with asteroid small moon Dimorphos on purpose. DART's overall budget is $313.9 million, spread out over eight years, and includes spacecraft development, launch vehicle development, and mission operations through late 2022. Additional background is available from the Planetary Society to help you fully comprehend the cost of space missions like DART. The DART spacecraft is a tiny spacecraft. The spacecraft's core is a box that is just a meter broad on all sides with two roll-out solar arrays that give it a width of roughly 12 meters, 40 feet. DART's electric propulsion technology uses a constant flow of charged ions to deliver a mild push. It will launch from the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California in July 2021 on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The spaceship will cycle around Earth several times, using its electric engine to build the necessary speed to break free from orbit. It will then travel to Didymos, potentially passing another asteroid named 2001CB21 along the way. DART's only science equipment is Draco, a high-resolution camera that also serves as a navigation system. It's inspired by a camera on NASA's New Horizons mission. DART will launch an Italian space agency-built CubeSat to witness the impact five days before it arrives. The primary spacecraft will be too far away from Earth for flight controllers to manage in real time. So four hours before impact, it will convert an autonomous navigation mode. Draco's images will aid the spacecraft's computers in distinguishing between Didymos and Dimorphos, allowing it to navigate toward the latter. Didymos, on the other hand, will not be on the radar. The Didymoon will be the focus of NASA's DART mission. Didymoon is enormous enough to destroy entire cities. Megan Bruck Seal of Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory announced on the webpage of NASA's DART project that immediately before DART smashes into Duty Moon at 14,700 miles per hour. Then it's all over. At a speed of 6.6 .6 kilometers per second, DART will collide with the Dimorphos. Dimorphos's orbital period around Didymos should alter from 11.9 to 11.8 hours as a result of the collision. A difference of only 4.2 minutes, Dimorphos will move closer to Didymos as a result of this. The collision of the spacecraft with the Didymoon will be captured by the camera. It will photograph the debris shower and possibly the crater that results. The collision has the potential to shorten the Moon's 12-hour orbit by 7 minutes. At a substantially cheaper cost than the previous NASA contracts, SpaceX will launch a mission to test an asteroid deflection technique. 
NASA announced on April 11 that it had granted SpaceX a contract to fly the double asteroid redirection test from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California in June 2021 using a Falcon 9. The mission will cost NASA 69 million US dollars in total, including launch and accompanying services. As part of NASA's planetary defense system, DART is a mission being developed at the John Hopkins University of Applied Physics Laboratory. The spaceship will journey to the asteroid Didymos using an electric propulsion system. At a speed of around 6 km per second, DART will collide with a small moon orbiting Didymos, sometimes referred to as Didymoon. The change in the moon's orbit around Didymos as a result of the collision will be measured by astronomers to see how well the impact's energy was transferred to the moon. This will aid scientists in determining the efficacy of the kinetic impactor technique, which has been proposed as one method of deflecting an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. DART was supposed to launch as a rideshare on a commercial geostationary orbit satellite mission. The mission moved to a dedicated launch a few months ago. DART, which weighs around 500 kilograms, is not expected to share the launch vehicle with another mission, according to NASA. The $69 million launch fee is much less than the previous NASA Falcon 9 launch contracts. In October 2017, NASA granted SpaceX a $97 million contract for the Sentinel-6A satellite, which launched on a Falcon 9 from Vandenberg in November 2020. A contract awarded in November 2016 would see the surface water of Ocean Topography satellite launched on a Falcon 9 in April 2021. In a statement, SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell stated, SpaceX is thrilled to continue our successful relationship with NASA in support of this crucial interplanetary mission. NASA's confidence in the Falcon 9's capacity to accomplish essential research missions while providing the greatest launch value in the industry is reflected in this award. The DART contract was awarded to SpaceX just a week after the company dropped its challenge of a NASA launch contract, awarded to the United Launch Alliance earlier this year for the Lucy mission. When SpaceX filed its protest in February, it claimed that it could launch the mission for a fraction of the cost of ULA's Atlas V. We might even get a close look at the battered DD moon. HERA, a proposed European mission, would launch in 2023 and arrive at the Didymos system in 2026. With the help of two briefcase-sized CubeSats, it would inspect the new crater and take comprehensive measurements of Didymoon's changed orbit. It is great to know about this particular defense system. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you've liked this video and make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our updates. Thank you so much for watching, we're sending a lot of good wishes your way.